technique is in the brain, it's not in the hands. Okay. Uh, I had the good fortune to, you know who Serge Shaloff was? His mother was t taught piano technique oh, in, in Boston. And I had to go to Fortune to study with her for three years every week and did for another three years with tune-ups. And she was always telling me, Hal, technique is in the brain, it's not in the hands. Uh, and I never believed it. I say, yeah, well, how come my hands are so slow? You know, <laughs> well, because my brain's so slow. <laughs> Many years later, I wanted to test this theory. Someone had sent me a bootleg Art Tatum record from Italy. That's where most of the bootlegs came from in those days. And it was, he was 21 years old doing these air checks, radio air checks. Fastest piano playing I ever heard in my life. Because he was young and all these chops, and when you're young you show off what you got, you know. So I put that record on and I listened to it for three hours straight. Uh, one tune, over and over and over, three hours straight. Then I went to the piano, and I'll be damned. For a half hour I could play as fast as Tatum. Then, as the half hour went on to be the hour, I got slower and slower until I was just playing all Hal Galper again. Uh, Tatum didn't have faster hands. He had faster fill in the blank. Brain. Huh? <laughs> faster ears. Now, you know, last year you were not hearing as fast as you were hearing this year, correct? Mm. Next year you're going to hear faster than you did this year. Everybody's got a speed limit at which they hear. And every year, the speed limit gets higher and higher until you can hear fast enough. It's an illusion that technique is in the hands. It is in the brain. It depends on how strong the brain-to-hand signal is and how fast that is. Everything you're trying to do here is an internal process. It is not about information. It's about how you use the information. Yet the focus in academia tends to be mostly on the what, not the how, on the, on, on the content, not the process. Yet you can play the simplest things if you know how to do that and they sound absolutely beautiful. If you know the process. That was a good question. Does that help you with your hearing question? Also, if you practice loud in your head, you know. And don't use repetition. Repetition is another childhood practicing technique. Repetition doesn't work as an adult. It's a waste of time. Pre-rehearse everything because that's what the work is in here. It's not external work. And it's automatic. When you screw up a line, you're going to repeat it automatically. First, it's a waste of time. It's mindless repetition. That's what you needed to do when you were a kid. You had to learn how to play the notes, how to play the choir notes. But adult musical behavior is not like that.